long day it has been. Out of the hundred or so who were sent to the scales today, only a small portion were considered worthy and sent to the afterlife. And now I have to study these scrolls for information. I suppose it's a good thing we gods have a choice when it comes to sleep. All I need is a short break, and I can get back to work. Hmm. Still asleep. Although she did eat a little food, and drank nearly all the water left for her. Perhaps while she is asleep, I should check her wounds. Oh! Child! I, I'm sorry. I did not mean to startle you. I was trying to check your wounds and not wake you, but I obviously failed. <laughs> you move quickly, little one. I dare say, you startled me almost as much as I did you. What? Are you... laughing at me? No, no. Don't try and hide it. I'm not offended. It has been a long time since I've heard anyone other than myself or the whelp, and he does not laugh. It's a nice sound. Even if it comes at my ego's expense. What was that? Say again? <laughs> yes, child. You managed to startle the great god Anubis. Have a good laugh about it if you must.
dog. No, no, child. I'm not upset. Although it would be a bit embarrassing were Osiris to find out. I think it is actually rather smart of you. No one here in the underworld knows what a whistle sounds like, and no one but me will be listening for it. Yes, very smart of you. Now, I know you have eaten and had a good amount of fluids, and I know you are still weak, but I believe you need to move about a bit. Can you... <sighs> what was that stupid glyph again? Stand? Yes, that's the right word. Stand, child. I will help you. I, I know. You are sore and stiff, and that is why this is necessary. Up we go. I know it hurts, and I'm sorry for that. Hopefully a small walk will help ease some of the stiffness. Now, here. Let's get this garment back on you. Slowly. There. Now, do you feel well enough to walk a short distance? I see you are not precisely understanding. Here. Do you want to go with me? I have work to do in the scroll room, and it is not far from here. We can go slowly to get your legs and back moving correctly again. Yes? Good. Here. For now, you may use my staff to help you. Careful, child. Hold yourself up straight and go slowly. There. That's it. We're only going to the end of this hall, where you can sit and rest while I look over a few things. There you go, child. Sit. Take a short break while I try to arrange these scrolls into something that might help us both. Ah. The scroll has notations from both the root and the new language. This might be helpful. And... this one as well. Yes, child? What is it? Do you need something? Yes, I know of the brand behind your ear. I saw it when I first brought you out of the pits and you were unconscious. What of it? What's that you're pointing at? Ah, I see. Each scroll has the mark of the person to which it belonged, along with the mark of the embalmer who prepared the body in the upper lands. If I can find any sign of your master's mark, that may be of assistance. <laughs> Very good, child. Thank you. Osiris oh, was right. I've been so engulfed in my work, the constant routine of it that I've begun to miss the small things. This is something I already knew. I'm afraid to think of what else I may have forgotten. Oh, my child. Let's get you back into the seat for a bit longer. After that, I think it'll be time for a bath. It will not only wash away the dirt and sand, but it'll also help you relax the soreness as well. There. Now that you're settled, I think I'll copy that mark behind your ear and have the other assistants keep an eye out for it. If they find it before me, I'll be informed immediately. Well... It's not perfect by any means, as it is so old and not of my language. What? Oh, yes. You are welcome to write it, if you can. You're probably much more familiar with your master's mark than I. Oh. That's... much better. 
Hmm. It puts my efforts to shame, almost. <laughs> Your master truly lost more than he knew when you ran, my intelligent little child. I'm afraid I don't know what that word means, little one. Ah, that is how this mark is pronounced. <laughs> don't roll your eyes at me. I must say, for two who cannot speak the same language, we are getting much better at communication. I will have to think more from your perception, and that will help a great deal. <laughs> I will have to learn to speak without speaking. A very human trait, and yet rooted in our most basic instincts. I am well equipped with my own set of animalistic qualities. However, it has been so many years since I've had need of those particular traits. It's almost as if I have to unlearn to learn again. <laughs> oh, you're getting wobbly again. I believe it's time to get you into a hot bath and relax some of those sore muscles. You'll be very tired afterwards, I'm assuming. So, I will have my mat readied while you bathe. Come. These scrolls can wait a bit. I already have the information required thanks to our combined efforts. Are you doing alright? You look to be standing a bit straighter, which is good. Your steps are a little bit shaky, but that's to be expected, especially after the ordeal you've been through. Ah, here we are. This is my personal bathing room, child. Here we will get you cleaned up and warm, and hopefully tomorrow you will feel much better for it. This bathing tub is made especially for me, so it is a bit extravagant. Have you ever seen one before? Yes, you've seen them. Then you know what it's for. Good. Now, let's get you undressed and into the tub. What? What's wrong? Do you not want to take a bath? The Nile? Oh, I see. Only the wealthy in the upper lands are allowed such frivolities. Those who do not have access to wealth or servants usually bathe in the Nile. I understand, child. But there is no Nile here. Do you understand? No river, no Nile, only the bath. Don't worry. Consider it a gift in return for your help with deciphering the scrolls. You are not breaking any rules, and there will be no punishment for using my bath. I will even help if you would prefer. As a tub, it is quite different from bathing in a river. Do you wish for me to stay? Very well, then. Let me help you out of your clothes. Slowly. There you go. Now, let's get you over to the tub and let you soak a bit. What? Oh, yes, the water. It's not warmed up yet, child. N no, no, don't get in while it's still cold. Just wait and watch. You see, child, as a god, I retain certain gifts. This happens to be one I don't need use of very often, but it happens to be perfect for this particular situation. I'm able to pull in the heat from anywhere I choose and dispel it in the same way. This realm, being a replica of our home in the Upper Lands, has no shortage of heat. Do you see how my hands and arms glow gold? Can you see the glyphs of the gods pulling in the heat? Soon they will turn a reddish-blue tint. There. And now... There. Now, child, feel the water. 
<laughs> For once, you look absolutely dumbstruck. It's rather... amusing. Now, this way. One foot in. No, my hand will not burn you. It is cool now, see? There. Now give me your hand. Now the next. Now, sit down. Yes, sit. Is the water too hot? No. Good. Here. There's a nice warm spot here on the end. Lean back, child. Like this. There. Now, you stay put and soak, and I will be back in a moment with a few things we will need when you're finished. Do not fret. No one is allowed on this particular floor except for me. This area is my personal domain, so no one but myself is ever here. I shall return shortly, so you just lay back and relax for a few moments. You can always whistle if you get scared or nervous. Very good, child. Relax, and I will be right back. Welp, I have need of you. I am here, my great god Anubis, at the bottom of the stairs. What is it you wish of me? Welp, bring me a replacement for this garment. Something just as light and loose. You may leave them at the bottom of the stairs, and I will fetch them in a moment. Yes, Lord Anubis, as you wish. Now, I need cloth for drying her off, and to ready my mat for her to sleep on. I can go without sleep for as long as needed, but that won't do for long, especially with extra studying thrown in. She looks absolutely exhausted. She's probably famished as well. However, I don't think she'll stay awake long enough for me to get her to eat anything. This mat looks so uncomfortable now that I look at it with a more human perspective. I suppose the best I can do is add a few more blankets. Tomorrow I will look through some of the items sent through with the unworthy. Perhaps a proper bed will be among the heaps of unused treasures. In any case, once she is safely laid down for the night, I believe I will take a short bath myself. She makes it look so relaxing. It is me, child. Are you still warm in the bath? Ah, you look so comfortable. I could almost mistake you for sleeping. Here, I brought these to dry off with. Another garment for you to wear, as well as some sandals for your feet. It's alright, child. You look so tired you could drown if I leave you in there much longer. Here, let me help you out. There. Can you dry yourself, child? Good. Here is your garment. If you need any assistance, just let me know. After you're comfortable in my chambers, I will return here to take a short bath for myself. I will not be long, and promise to keep an ear out for you should you need anything. However, by the looks of you, that bath turned your bones to sand. <laughs> here. Let me help you with your sash. There. Now. Let's get you to my chambers where you can truly rest. She's finally resting comfortably. Now I can truly lay back and relax. I'm so... tired. After this quick wash... I, too, will be more than ready for sleep. Seeing those lashes across her back tonight, it truly fills me with 
so much sadness. We gods rarely see that kind of devotion in a follower, let alone a slave girl. But she... She sacrificed so much. More than her time among the upper lands. More than the endless prayers that went unanswered. More than the torn flesh across her back. She... Almost died for me. Twice. I feel... Unworthy. I will find a way to even the scales between us. No matter how long it may take me. I truly am exhausted. Both my mind and body are in need of sleep. I just hope my young one is finally able to rest without so much soreness and pain. I'd heard her wrestling a bit earlier, but she seems to have... <sighs> I should have known. I was so tired I didn't pick up on the scent until I was almost to my chambers. This has got to stop. She will not offer up anything else in my name. Not while I was so deeply ignorant to everything she had already sacrificed. No, child. I'm not angry. I see it as a small offering, and you have already bandaged yourself very nicely. But please, understand. This is not necessary. What about Osiris? Ah, uh, yes. I must remember that he brought you here with purpose, and you are simply trying to fulfill it. You look so tired. If taking this small offering is what will ease your mind to sleep, then I will gladly accept it. Thank you. There. Now, get comfortable, and get some rest. If I wake before you, do not be afraid. I'll merely be working in the embalming chamber. You may whistle if you are in need of anything. I... I understood you. You said... Whistling is no longer necessary. Does this mean... Can you understand me as well? Can you understand as I speak? <sighs> Your offering does hold great magic, child. This will make both of our lives so much simpler in the days to come. I'm sure tomorrow will be full of questions and stories. for tonight. Let us rest. We're both very tired. Here, pull the blanket up and close your eyes. I will see and talk to you when you wake. Just promise me one thing. Now that our communication problem has been resolved, there is no further need for offerings. I wish I could have conveyed how grateful I was for each and every one. But now that we can speak freely, it is a moot point. Do you agree? Good. Now sleep. May your dream realm give you the signs of blessings to come. Thank you, child. I hope to have signs of blessings as well. Good night.
Am I in the dream realm? Is this the blood magic? Magic. <laughs> magic. Why? Why? Why can't I move? And where am I? I'm seeing through her eyes in the upper lands. I have no control over this body. It's like I'm a hostage. Almost. Why am I moving? Standing up. <laughs> this color. It's so tight. And the chain's so short. How is she able to sleep like this? Always sitting. She. We. We. Are looking at the door. We are we are afraid. afraid. She, she is afraid. afraid. But of what? 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 So hot, so hot and yet shivering. shivering. She's exhausted, so exhausted and in so much pain. So much pain. This, must this must be where she was she kept was after her first her attempt first at escape. escape. And this is her punishment. Is punishment. I'm to bear it with her, with her for some her reason. Some reason. Whoa. Why is she standing when there is no one here? She can barely hold herself up. Ah, there's my little wanderer. The slave girl that thought she could get away. Do you feel like running now? You haven't eaten in two days. You have not been outside in three. Are you hungry yet? Perhaps a bit thirsty? I must say, these last few days have been extremely hot, even for our lands. Would you like some water to quench that taste of sand in your mouth? That must be her owner. Her master. She, we, we are so thirsty. He's holding out a cup, but she's so weak. She can barely move her arms to hold it. Oh dear, child. It seems you're still too clumsy to be of any use to me yet. Perhaps in an hour, perhaps in many hours... I will come back and try again. And if you can find it in yourself to maintain a decent composure, we will try with more water. Until then, you will remain standing. You will not make a single noise, and if I come in to check on you and find you slumped on the floor again, you will get a lashing that even your great god Anubis will feel. Now... I am off to work on my corpses. Who knows? Perhaps you will be laying across my slab in the next day or two. You... 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 you disgusting... disgusting bastard. bastard. Thank you so much for watching this video, Fables. I'd also like to extend an extra thank you and appreciation to the patrons for the additional kindness and support for the channel, including Alice Hino, Vivi, Maddie, Kiri, Alex Russell, and Libertalia. Thank you all again so very much, and I hope to see everyone in the next video.